English 1000 is an introductory course to uh, English literature. It isn't exactly a survey course in that we don't go, you know, from, from Beowulf to Barth, right? Uh, what we do is we've, we've broken the course up into four different uh, sections, right? So uh, the first section is on poetry, the second section is on narrative, the third section is on experimentation, and the fourth section is on drama. So what you do is um, you have a chance to explore in some depth um, various different genres and various different approaches to literature. I really liked that it was team taught, which means you know the professors all took turns in teaching the lectures. So you got to meet a lot of the professors in the English department, um, and a lot of them had very different lecturing styles. And you, so you got to you know even if you particularly didn't like one lecture, you knew there was always going to be different professors coming next week, um, and it gives you a good sense of you know what professor you might want to take more courses with. And it also gives you a sense of the professor's areas of interest, uh, and maybe your own too. And I guess another special thing about the English department is that the first year seminars, which are small groups of people who you meet with about once a week to discuss the material in small groups, uh, it's taught by uh, professors themselves, not teaching assistants. Mostly, uh, a lot of the work is reading. Uh, this year, I read mostly every week a book a week, which sounds like a lot. Uh, but most of your time is going to be taken up by the readings. Um, but you do have some essays, and then a, a mid-year exam, and a final exam. I did four essays this year, but the first essay, they called it a diagnostic essay, which means it was worth a lot less than the, the following essays. It was just a, a chance for your professor to you know, give you some feedback on your writing and assess your strengths and maybe possible areas of weakness and just help you improve and know what you need to work on to make your next essay the best it could be. One of the things that we often say about uh, studying English is that, well, English won't get you a job. It will get you promoted. Because when you get into a job, the kind of people who get promoted are the kind of people who can work with other people. And working with other people always involves communication. And not only communication, but communication that gives people confidence in you. That you know what you're talking about and that you know how to talk about it. Because those two things cannot be separated. And they certainly aren't ever separated among your friends or at the workplace. right? And it's literature that really has the chance to um, robustly explore the way that we work, right? And if you want to be instrumental about it, that is going to be very useful for your understanding of yourself and your understanding of other people as you go through life. I just love it, and I guess it makes me happy. I like reading the books and or the plays and discussing them and just writing about them. And I think, you know, I could do lots with it. And it's good to be able to be a good communicator, both orally in discussions and, you know, written. So I think it's, it's just good skills to take forward.